for sales and business development for Thin Film Electronics. Um, the company is headquartered in Norway, development activities in Sweden and here in San Jose. Um, what you see here is our first product. We specialize actually in making electronics in a completely new way. We print active electronic components. So this is a uh, this is printed memory. It's in market. It's been shipping for about a year. Um, what I'm talking to talk to you about today, though, uh, is our newest innovations in the NFC area. So we are a publicly traded company um, on the Oslo Exchange. Uh, the portion of, there's a portion of the Oslo Exchange for high beta stock, uh, so that is where we are able to raise capital in a public sense. We received 47 million of investment last October from Invesco, uh, from Neil Woodford himself. The strategic investments also from Xerox, uh, one of our partners in developing. Um, in January, we acquired some technology assets of the company Covio Inc., which may be familiar to you. This is a NFC protocol that is already established and supported in Google Android. Um, it's supported by the major controllers, by NXP, by Broadcom. And um, what we have done since that time, if we could cue the video, in May we demonstrated the integration of that NFC technology with sensor technology. So this is a, to show you in the lab that it's actually working. And what this allows us to do is create in a label format, I've got up here uh, some salmon just as a representative sample, that when we announced the development of this particular tag, uh, we had 25 kilos of salmon land in the offices in Norway. So with this, with this technology, we're able to pick up key points of data, here I'm showing. So this pack has been kept warm, sorry, kept cold. But you know, maybe this one my son left out on the counter. And I'll let this run just for a moment more so you can see the lab, actually, the lab version of the video. Now, the reason we care about printing as a way to manufacture electronics is really about scalability. Billions and billions of units. We can print by the mile. Okay, in, in Sweden, we can take and produce, we've got about 200 million capacity on a production line that costs around $2 million. So we get to scalability that you just can't get with um, conventional electronic technology. So the question for the telco is we begin to release NFC enabled labels. These are intelligent labels that can gather data, are active whether they're in field or out of field, and then that data can be collected over the mobile networks. The exciting thing for us is that that means that there's all that additional data that can be picked up, a GPS, a unique item identifier. Every object can have intelligence embedded. For the telcos, all you have to do to be a part of this ecosystem to play is a one-line specification to support the thin film NFC barcode format. Like I said, it's already supported by the major controllers, out of the box Android, um, out of the box the Samsung phones, read our protocol. To leverage it though, is to really think about where you can begin to add value added services that can be enabled by using billions to trillions of bits of data, all packed up in little tiny packages. Threshold detection, one or two. This is one or two bits, 128 bit unique identifier, and scalable enough that we have been working with the fast moving consumer goods companies. We've been working with Famous Packaging, who is a company you've probably never heard of. They produce 200 billion packages per year. They, if you, um, Brady, high end industrial labeling, recently announced a relationship with Flextronics. And another one that is not on here is that we just recently announced a relationship with Everything, a Cisco backed startup that will provide the software back end. So we have a complete end-to-end -end solution for providing data gathering, transferring it, storing it in the cloud, or store or using it in local applications. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Step up here for some questions. Okay. <clears throat> Got one. Uh, can you elaborate on the scalability and cost savings versus alternatives? Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
I have a slide that we weren't allowed to use because of the format that I'd be happy to send you. Um, if you look at the capacity of the entire silicon industry today, uh, 19 billion microprocessors growing around 16%, and you look at uh, RFID tag 6 billion, something on that order, I mean, we're starting to look at the total capacity of the entire silicon industry. We can build that kind of scalability in plants at a fraction of the cost, and I mean, that, that is a $2 million print line. Think about the last semiconductor fab that Samsung built was about $10 billion. Um, if you want to get to 50 trillion objects, to a trillion objects, if you want to get to even 50 billion, which is what Cisco is saying, you would have to double the capacity of the silicon industry. And so we really do have to have a completely different paradigm for how we do the manufacturing. These are simple systems, very low cost. Um, we can drop this kind of label, we're looking at around a dollar type price point with having the NFC, the RF communication, the sensor system, we can add printed displays to it to tell you when it's on and off, um, all in that kind of price point. So what is your ask um, for the telco as a partner and then um, what is the business model that you're thinking of um, with regards to working with the telecom operator? Okay, well there's two layers to that. The first is um, printed electronics are not terribly um, performant electronics. So we make a label that is compatible with the NFC protocol, it is not automatically compliant with. So if you add, I'll, the first layer I said is if a telco simply adds one line specification to be part of the party, that's the first layer. I mean, that, that is all that has to be done. Um, the other layer though is we see the opportunity to build um, services around these kinds of labels. And so the extent, to the extent that Many of the telcos are beginning to look at what kind of value-added services can you put on the network without adding capacity. Right? And really think about that. If we can get, enable fast-moving consumer goods companies to make interactive products, and, and they can create consumer engagement, they can create health-related applications. I mean, the, the application space for simple sensors is huge, absolutely enormous. So to begin to work with um, the telcos that want to innovate on the services side, be a very exciting way to be able to bring this to market. Sorry, that's all the time we have. Did you have 